Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. First up, I would just want to say a big thank you to you all for your ongoing support. I recently reached 1000 subscribers and I honestly couldn't have done it without you. So thank you so much. And if you're not already subscribed, this is a great time to do it. So head on down below and click that subscribe button. And while you're there, click on that little bell icon and turn on notifications. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the puzzles I received for the month of June. And uh, I can tell you now, these piles here are not all of them. So brace yourself. There's a lot to get through. Um, but yeah, there's a really cool mix here of like brand new puzzles, thrifted older puzzles, wooden puzzles, and yeah, lots of different fun brands and colors and interesting images. So this is probably going to take a little while to go through. So why not grab yourself a drink, a snack, get comfy, and let's go through them all. Okay, so since we have quite a few uh, puzzles to go through, I'm going to try and get through them pretty quickly. Um, so as per usual, I've grouped them according to the places that they came from. And I guess as per tradition, uh, let's do the Amazon ones first. We've actually only got two from Amazon this time. So the first one we've got is this gorgeous uh, Ravensburger 500 piece round puzzle. And it's part of the Circle of Colors series. Um, I think they're sort of reasonably new and there's like maybe five or six in the series, but they're all sort of rainbow but different themes and this one i think is just called ocean um, and yeah it features this gorgeous colorful underwater scene um yeah in the middle is this like colorful cluster of like uh coral and there's like a clamshell and a pearl and then we've got these colorful fish swimming around um yeah i really like that it's sort of this rainbow gradient going around the circle um there's other gorgeous sea creatures like a turtle jellyfish stingray uh, squid yeah but I think it just is really pretty and this one really caught my eye um, so yeah very excited to have this one and I'm tempted to do a video on this so I guess let me know in the comments if it's something you'd be interested in seeing um, so yeah excited to have this one and then the other one from Amazon is also very colorful it's this Seiko uh, 750 piece um, puzzle from the groovy animal series and i don't know what it's specifically called but we'll just call it tiger um but yeah i'm not like the hugest fan of the seco pieces they are kind of on the more cheaply made side but you know whenever i see one of their really pretty puzzles at a good price sometimes i can't help but get it and this is that was the case with this um yeah i just love how bright and vibrant the whole thing is and just all the intricate details of all the flowers and even the sort of patterns in the tiger's fur. Yeah, I think it's just really eye-catching and I think it'll be a lot of fun to put together. So the next puzzle is um, from a puzzle brand called Puzzle Club uh, UK, I think it is. And they're fairly new and I sort of saw them on Instagram. But um, at the moment, as far as I know, you can only get this from their Etsy store. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try this one out. So it's called Well Travelled and it's 1000 pieces and it features all these like vintage kind of retro uh, old travel posters. So from all around the world, there's even a little Australia one there and Paris, Alaska, um, Cuba, Canada, like all sorts of places. But yeah, it looks really fun. I'm quite a fan of these sort of like old style uh, like travel posters. I always think they look really graphic and interesting. And it almost kind of reminds me of that like uh, Amy Stewart puzzle. I think it's called like vintage travel books or something or posters, something like that. Um, yeah, so it makes me think of that a little bit. But yeah, I think this one should be fun and it's all, almost like lots of little puzzles in one puzzle. So yeah, and I had a sneak peek at the pieces and they look like they're nice quality. So yeah, definitely excited to try this one out hopefully soon. And then the next few are from a, an Australian online puzzle store called jigsawstore.com.au um, and so I grabbed this little one called uh, Love in the Wild and it's by Mud Puppy which I think is part of Gallison as far as I know. Uh, it's just 500 pieces and yeah it's really adorable couldn't resist getting this one uh, yeah it just features the, like this little grid like these nine pictures of like cute little animals like I guess in love uh, some some are like I guess partners and others are maybe like family members but yeah it's all really sweet and cute and very colorful so we've got little penguins here giraffes elephants i love these like rainbow lions together and the flamingos yeah it's just really sweet and um again like the last puzzle this one's like a grid so it's almost like lots of little mini puzzles so yeah i think this one will be really fun and yeah just really sweet to do 
And then I got a couple of uh, 500 piece Ravensburgers, which I think are fairly new releases from them. So this one is really pretty and it's called uh, Minu's Pond. And it's a very sort of fantasy type thing. At first glance, it sort of looks like a normal pond, but then you realize these like, I guess, goldfish or whatever are like sort of floating around in the air. But yeah, there's like this beautiful uh, like girl here with pink hair and like, yeah, it's a very pinky reddy uh, color palette with like this beautiful teal water. And yeah, it's got like a little, I guess, fairy or maybe it's a smaller version of the same girl. There's a couple of them actually. Um, so yeah, there's like little mini people here and uh, beautiful pink water lilies um, and lots of little insects and flowers and butterflies and things. So yeah, it looks really detailed and just really beautiful. And uh, yeah, really glad to get a hold of this one. And then the other 500 piece one is, um, it's called Garden Visitors, I think. And it's by the artist um, Matt Sewell, I think. And he's got a whole range called Matt Sewell's Birds. So I've got a couple of others from his series, which I really like. And yeah, it's just this really cute image of all these sort of, I guess, sort of more UK or European garden visitors. Um, so we've got like squirrels and I guess ravens, pigeons, foxes, Are these like hedgehogs or porcupines. <laughs> I don't know. We have like echidnas here, which I don't think anyone else has. Um, yeah, so lots of cute little birds and critters and like different plants and leaves and things. So yeah, I really like the, like, I guess it looks very watercolor and it's just a really pretty image. So yeah, I quite like the art style. So yeah, I think that would be a nice one to put together as well. And then the last one I got from them is a really fun one. This is a fairly new one, I believe from Cobble Hill. And it, I think it's just called Doodle Cats. And I think it's from like an artist who does these like cats online and makes merchandise. But yeah, it's really colorful. Definitely my thing has cats, is bright and colorful. And yeah, it's all these like, um, it says Doodle Cats a day in the life. So yeah, it's got like wake up and then, you know, uh, what else like stretch and choose a look and nap with a friend. So it's got all these activities that a cat might do during its day. And yeah, it's really cute. Um, they're very fun and cartoony and they're all getting up to just silly fun things. So yeah, I think this one will be really fun to put together. So yeah, glad to get a hold of that one. Um, I can see this one being very popular because yeah, it's just such a fun, cute image. And then the next few are from another Australian uh, store. Um, it's called Books Are Us and More. So they sell books as well by the, you know, by the title, um, but they sell puzzles too. And so I grabbed this one from Cobble Hill, which surprisingly I didn't have because I have all the other sort of Shelley Davies ones. So this one is called, uh, what is it called? Um, hmm. Oh, time pieces and it's 1000 pieces random cut. And yeah, it's just this whole uh, collage by the artist Shelley Davies. And yeah, it's all these like clocks and watches and things relating to time and numbers. And yeah, it's really cute. There's like a cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo clock. <laughs> That's really hard to say. Um, and all different like vintage watches and clocks. And yeah, it looks really fun and there's a lot going on. And I always really like her sort of collage pieces are always so detailed and really interesting and yeah this one's no exception um, so yeah glad to finally have that one and then I picked up this really adorable Ravensburger one so this is by the artist uh, Hannah Carlson and it's called Pretty Kitties and I've seen this one floating around but this was the first place I saw in Australia that ever had it so I snatched it up while I could and yeah I've got a few of her other puzzles and her art style is just very like cute and whimsical and always really pretty. Um, and yeah, I, of course, when I saw this one with the cats, I was like, I have to get it. So yeah, very pleased that I could get a hold of this one. And yeah, I think it's just a really beautiful image. So yeah, very excited about this one. And then the last two that I got from that place are both from Hay and they're both 1000 pieces and are both from, um, this series called Pixie Dust by the artist Ilona Rennie. I think that's how you say it. Um, and they're, 
I got one previously from this series called Pearl Rain. So this one is called Fairy Park. Um, yeah, and it's just this beautiful, really detailed, sort of, I guess, collage-y type image. It's got all these like bubbles and pearls and very like a lot of sort of almost filigree type details. And yes, there's so much going on that, you, you know, it's almost hard to see, but, but, but essentially, I guess there's like all these little fairies in this sort of park area and yeah, just wandering around and yeah, it's very pretty. Um, yeah, so definitely glad to get a hold of this one. And then the other one from the same series, again, is equally as detailed and pretty and intricate. And this one is called Magic Keys. Um, yeah, and it's just, again, a really beautiful one with all these like keys hanging off this tree or these tree branches. And again, it's, yeah, I'm not quite sure how the artist creates it. Like it sort of looks like collage a bit. Um, and yeah, there's always just so much going on. Like I'm sure when I do these, I'll notice so many more details than I'm noticing now. But yeah, I just think they're really pretty. So yeah, really glad to have them. I think according to the back, I might have all three now. So the completionist in me is very happy. Um, so next up we have, well, a whole lot more puzzles still. So yeah, let's get to the next pile. So this next pile of puzzles is all from the same place. It's from an online store here in Australia called puzzlepalace.com.au. And I've got quite a few uh, Hay new releases here, um, or at least they're new releases here in Australia. Um, so this top one is one of the triangle box ones and actually the first time I've ever got one of these. So that's exciting. So this one's a 1500 piece one called Fun With Friends and it's by the artist and I'm probably gonna mess this up, uh, Maria Tiorina. Um, and I just, really liked the art style. It's just super cute and adorable and yeah, just really caught my eye. Um, it's just all these like little cartoony characters. Um, I guess they're all friends, fun with friends. And there's like humans and monsters and animals and all sorts of critters. Yeah, just doing all sorts of things. So the whole image is actually on the back here. Um, you know, there's some cooking and eating pizza together. There's some watching movies and playing like console games. Um, some playing like board games, uh, some going swimming. Yeah, it's really cute and fun. It actually reminds me a lot of the Soonness series, the Life series, like Forest Life and Marine Life. It's sort of similar to that. Um, yeah, but it's a, quite a big one, 1500 pieces. So I think it's gonna be quite uh, challenging to do, but also really fun because it's just so jam packed with detail. Um, but yeah, excited to have this one and I'm actually tempted to do a video on it too. Um, so the next couple are from like one series. They're called, the series is called Fauna Fantasies. They're 1000 pieces and it's by the artist Andre Sanchez. And now this one, I was looking at the name and I have no idea how to say it. So it's spelled E-Q-U-P-I-D-A-E. -E. And it kind of like makes me think of the like Latin name um, Equidi, like for sort of horse-like creatures. So I don't know if it's like meant to be that or it's sort of like, its own made up thing because it is sort of like this collage fantasy creature, which is like a horse like creature, but then it's sort of got butterfly wings as well. And so, yeah, not, yeah, it's, it's a really interesting image. I'm not quite sure what the name actually is and how to say it. Um, but yeah, it's just a really beautiful image. It's sort of like a mix of these kind of photographic collage elements and then illustrated collage parts. And yeah, it's really pretty beautiful flowers and the sort of, mysterious uh, fantasy creature is like really cool and yeah, really excited to try this one sometime. And then the other one from the same series by the same artist, this one is called uh, Jackalope and that's what this sort of fantasy creature is. I'm not exactly sure what uh, is required to be considered a Jackalope, but it is some sort of rabbity or hare and like deer-like creature from what I understand, but I'm not sure if it has, normally has wings or not. But yeah, I love the colors in this one or, and the other one too. They're like really beautiful and rich and yeah, it's just really pretty and this sort of forest scene. So yeah, I think these ones are quite different and yeah, very like an interesting style. So yeah, glad to ha have these ones. And then the next couple are also from Hay and they're sort of their own like series as well. So they're called like Home, I guess, yeah, home series by Norman O'Flynn. And I just, yeah, the art style just really caught my eye. It's really bright. Um, they're both 1000 pieces as well. And it's just this sort of like very, really like graphic art style, um, very like contemporary and modern. And 
yeah, it's really cool. Um, yeah, it's basically like a sort of interior design kind of thing. And this one has like the great wave picture and these funky couches and yeah, I just love the colors. I think it looks really cool, very different and yeah, very graphic. So yeah, I like that one. And then the other one is same artist and same series as well. And this one, oh, sorry, I did say what the other one was called. So this one is actually called Room with Wave, which makes sense since it has the great wave image. And then this one is called Room with Deer. So again, this is another like room. Um, and I guess it's called Room with Deer because it has this like deer antlers image up there. And yeah, it has these funky polka dot couches and cool images. Yeah, again, very graphic and very colorful. And yeah, just a really cool, funky style. So yeah, glad to have these ones. And then what else did I grab? Well, lots actually. Um, so I've got a couple of Ravensburger ones here. So I've got this 500 piece one and it is called um, Manatee Moments. And I don't know why, but it just really appealed to me. It's quite weird. Um, well, not really. I mean, I guess it's a sort of one of these, you know, above and below water kind of scenes that, you know, appears in a lot of puzzles. Usually it's like a sort of tropical underwater, but in this case, I guess it's sort of wherever manatees hang out, it kind of almost looks like mangroves and a little bit like more jungly or foresty. But yeah, it has some like interesting fish and some beautiful uh, like kind of wetland type birds. And it even has, other Australians will know what this is, a bin chicken. I think the technical term is ibis, but here um, we call them like bin chickens, trash turkeys, dumpster chooks. Uh, they're quite a, iconic here in Australia um, and not loved. Uh, anyway, but apart from that, it, yeah, it's just a really, I think just beautifully illustrated image and it just appealed to me. And yeah, it's a bit different than what I normally do, but something about it. Maybe it was the bin chicken. I don't know. And then this other one from Ravensburger is a 1000 piece one. And it's from the Abandoned series. And I just think these are really cool. And this one is called Deserted Department Store. And yeah, I just, I've been trying to like get my hands on like all of these, but some of them seem to be really hard to get. Um, but yeah, when I saw this one, I grabbed it. And yeah, like the name suggests, it is a uh, deserted department store. It's got like the sort of mannequins falling apart and all the clothing like looking a bit tattered and broken glass and uh, birds flying in. But yeah, it's still very beautiful and detailed and has a lot of like nice like light and dark areas. So yeah, I don't know. I just really like this series. I think they, the images are just really fascinating and just look really, yeah, look really cool. And then what else have we got? Um, lots. <laughs> so we have a cobble heel one here, which I think has been out for quite some time and it is called uh, the nature of books. Um, and yeah, it's just all these like beautiful vintage style books, but then each one is like, it's almost like the covers coming to life with like plants and like flora and fauna type things. So yeah, beautiful butterflies and birds and flowers and plants sort of coming out of each book. Um, and yeah, a lot of the books are like to do with nature. So it's like the flower garden, birds of our country, um, the book of nature study. So yeah, it's all, all very pretty and related to nature. But yeah, I just thought this one was a really lovely one. And I don't know, I've seen it around, but yeah, I decided to finally get a hold of it. And then we've got a couple of Eurographics ones here. So I actually recently did a video on a Eurographics one, um, which I'll link up in the cards. Um, but yeah, I uh, my feelings about Eurographics was that I, I like them and I think they're like good value for, you know, for money, um, but they're always a bit inconsistent with the, what type of pieces you're gonna get. So I got these two taking a bit of a risk. I hope the pieces are good, uh, cause I really love the images. So this one is 1000 pieces and it's called a uh, koi fish. And it's just this really beautiful image of all these like really vibrant koi fish in their pond. Just, yeah, I don't know. It's sort of almost like it's looking down on a sort of koi pond. And yeah, I just think it's really beautiful. and kind of makes me think of Japan and that's something that I'm quite passionate about. So yeah, I just thought it was just a really beautiful image. And then this other one from Eurographics, again, I hope the piece is a nice quality. Um, this one's called Chinese Calendar. So it's sort of this very whimsical take on like the Chinese Zodiac 
animals. So we've got like, yeah, all the different animals like the rat, the ox, tiger, etc. But like each one is this very painterly style of like the animal, but they're like kind of whimsical because it's got like a horse here reading and a snake coming out of like a takeaway container, a little hat on and yeah, and like a rabbit in space. They're all kind of doing like some odd and interesting things, but it's also just really beautifully painted. So yeah, it kind of just caught my eye and I figure since I have quite a lot of, I guess, Western Zodiac puzzles, why not grab, you know, the Chinese Zodiac one? So yeah, I thought this was a, just a beautiful puzzle as well. And then we just have two more left from this brand and then we have a whole lot more other puzzles to get through. So I got another one of these triangular boxes, which are really kind of awkward to store. I don't know what the deal is with the triangle boxes. If anyone knows, let me know. So this is also by the same artist as this one, uh, but yeah, 1000 pieces and it is called Home of Thoughts. And it's a little bit more, it's a bit more to me like a serious image in a weird way um, or a bit more quirky, sort of this person's head that's like opened up and it's like all these like, again, little quirky, cute characters and things doing all sorts of different activities and stuff inside the person's head and outside as well. And yeah, well, the head almost looks like, I mean, I guess it's called Home of Thoughts. It looks like a house or a home. It's all little different rooms and things. And yeah, people doing all sorts of little activities and stuff. But I just thought it looked really interesting and quite kind of quirky and whimsical. So yeah, I thought, you know, this was beautiful like the other one as well. So why not try this one out too? And then the very last one from this uh, place is from Cavallini & Co. Um, this one's called Japanese Woodblocks. And like I previously said, I'm quite passionate about, I guess, all things Japan. And I just thought this was really beautiful. It has all those yeah, classic woodblock prints. Um, it's got the whole image on the back here. Um, but yeah, it's got, yeah, it's just really beautiful. And um, they're actually quite vibrant and yeah, really pretty. It's got, you know, scenes of Mount Fuji with cherry blossoms and, um, you know, like red Tory gates with snow on them. And the, I think I've been to this place here, the like giant Buddha of Kamakura. And yeah, it's just a uh, beautiful imagery and yeah, really caught my eye. And I think this is one of the new release ones from Cavallini and co as well. So yeah, excited to grab this one. So that's it from Puzzle Palace. Um, we've got a couple more stacks of puzzles to go through. So yeah, let's get into those ones. So this next pile are all from one place as well. These ones are from Mind Connect Australia, which is another online store here that sells puzzles um, amongst other things. So this first one is a Cloudberries one, 1000 pieces called Curiosities. And I think it's been out for a little while now and has this really cute, very detailed image um, and sort of the colors and the style of the image feel quite sort of 70s to me actually. Um, but yeah, there's these like cute bears and other weird creatures and stuff. It almost looks like they're in some big department store where there's like things on display and, you know, things for sale and hanging up or maybe a museum or something. Like there's just sort of, like the name suggests, curiosities like everywhere, like, you know, crockery over here, toys over there, paintings here. Yeah, but there's all sorts of like little creatures and people and things kind of walking around like looking at everything. So yeah, definitely quite kind of quirky and uh, quite like unusual, but yeah, really fun looking as well. And then this next one is one that I actually uh, got out of my puzzle board at the moment and I've been having fun doing this one. This is from Piecework Puzzles and this one's Rise and Shine. And I've been wanting to try this brand for ages. So I'm really glad that I finally uh, got this one to try. Um, this one was actually gifted to me by Mind Connect, so that was very kind of them. Um, yeah, and I chose this one because it's just got such a beautiful color palette. Like I love, uh, well, here's a better, bigger image actually. I love the sort of purple background and the sort of pops of like bright yellows and oranges and stuff. But yeah, such a quirky image. All their images are always very like, uh, have a bit of a vintage kitschy kind of retro vibe. Um, and are always just a bit weird and bizarre. Um, but yeah, I've been really enjoying it so far and yeah, having a lot of fun putting it together. And yeah, they um, the box and the pieces have this real soft touch to them. So that's been fun too. So yeah, super glad to have this one in my collection now. And I picked up another uh, puzzle from New York Puzzle Company. Um, I've had my eye on this one for a while because it's so cute. It's called Baby, It's Cold Outside. 
and it just it's 1000 pieces and it has uh, all these dogs looking very like snuggled and rugged up in very cute little like winter outfits yeah I just like this art style it's just very whimsical and you have the dogs all look really cute I mean I'm not a dog person but I think this is a really adorable doggy puzzle um, yeah I just yeah love their little outfits it's yeah really fun and then I've got a couple here from uh, these are from Martin Schwartz um, so I guess Martin Schwartz the artist or the company tends to do these like different cities uh, so this one's Copenhagen 1000 pieces and I think this is a special one that's like a pride one which is why all the buildings are like the pride flag or rainbow um, and yeah it looks really beautiful um, it's sort of yeah the, the art style is really interesting I'm not sure if it's sort of collaged or illustrated yeah I'm not quite sure how it's done but it's really detailed like all the buildings have so much detail and there's like little trees and yeah like heaps of things going on um, and yeah yeah the art style is really interesting I don't know how to describe it maybe it's sort of almost collagey in a way um, yeah but uh, the way they've done it is it's not like a true representation of like how the cities look it's sort of from what I was uh, reading is that like they take like lots of different parts of the city and sort of smoosh them together in one image to sort of give an overall like feel or look of how the city like I guess to give a the vibe of the city maybe but yeah I really liked this one I thought it looked really fun and colorful and just really beautiful so yeah I've heard really good things about this brand I heard that they're a bit similar to like Ravensburger pieces so yeah excited to try them and then I picked up this other one from them as well this is the Berlin one 1000 pieces and yeah I really like this one it's also quite colorful actually there's lots of pops of like yellow and some pinks and reds but yeah the buildings look really fun and interesting in this one too and yeah just like the other one like lots of detail and just looks really cool like such a cool art style and then we've got one here from Gallison and this one just caught my eye because it's so pretty it's called flower market um, also sort of a doggy puzzle actually <laughs> yeah it's just like kind of a scene at a flower market where there's people with their dogs and yeah shopping with, for all these like beautiful flowers I just really like the colors like it's quite a pastel palette um, so yeah I just think it's really pretty and yeah quite a nice art style as well so yeah looking forward to that one and then we've got here um, one from water and wines this is 1000 piece california wine puzzle i am not in, into wine at all but um, i actually did the scotch like the scottish whiskey puzzle from them and really liked it and so uh, the design of this one and the colors and imagery and everything really caught my eye and so i was like sort of just been hanging out to get this one so I, yeah i ended up getting it um, yeah i love the illustrations they're just so colorful um, yeah really bright and yeah just really gorgeous and um, these are really if you've ever done art and fable these sort of have the pretty much the exact same feel that real velvet touch very soft touch sort of feel silica, soft silicon feel including the box as well so yeah these are really fun to do um, yeah and they all have really gorgeous imagery but yeah I think this was my sort of second favorite to the Scottish whiskey one so yeah glad to have this one and then we're down to the last few here from this stack we still have another stack of puzzles after this um, so I got another magnolia puzzle um, this one's just called fishes um, yeah and it's just this really sort of pretty almost like watercolory illustrated fish but it's also made up of all these little fishes like all its little scales uh, other fish and it's always just a very pretty rainbow picture um, yeah so it looks really beautiful it's, it has a difficulty level rating here and it says four out of five stars so I yeah I can imagine it will be a bit tricky like even though there is sort of colored gradients there's like a lot of little details going on as well so yeah but I really have enjoyed magnolia puzzles and I think this one will be a really fun uh, fun one to put together and then the last two that I got from mind connect are both uh, Cavallini & Co so I got one which I think is from the new collection as well this one's called Tropical and yeah it's just this beautiful sort of tropical rainforest design um, yeah it's just beautiful and um, yeah it's sort of just got all the sort of like palms and or fronds and things 
that you'd find in a tropical rainforest and like a, some f tropical flowers and fruits and things. And you've got like different animals and creatures and stuff. But yeah, I really like the style of it. It's really, I don't know, it's just really stunning. So yeah, I'm glad I picked that one up. I think it, yeah, I don't know, just a beautiful design. What else can I say, I guess? And yeah, the other one I got from them, I think has been out for a little while. It's called Co Cocktail Time. And it is like this sort of 1950s retro style, uh, very sort of fun drawings and stuff of all these like, yeah, I guess kind of retro cocktails actually. So it's got them all on the back and it actually has like little recipe sort of, or ingredients, how to like make each one. But yeah, I like the imagery, it's really cute. I like the sort of uh, vintage kind of pastel colors and yeah, it looks really fun. And um, I have quite a lot of like, uh, alcohol in my cupboard to make cocktails so yeah this sort of really appeals to me maybe I can try some of these out um, so that's it from that stack of puzzles from Mind Connect um, so we have one more stack to go and then we'll be done so we're up to the final pile of puzzles and there's actually quite a mix of places here that the puzzles came from so the first couple of puzzles were actually gifted to me from Mr. Bob Puzzles um, and I actually just did a try out and review of them. Um, so I'll link that video up the top. Um, so this first one is called Gostwick Chapel and it's 751 pieces. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, they're both wooden puzzles and they have like, both have beautiful, cute, whimsy pieces. Um, so this one, yeah, is a gorgeous um, panoramic style image and yeah, just features this, uh, the Gostwick Chapel, which is this old chapel here covered in these gorgeous red leaves and yeah just such a stunning image with all these like bright sort of vivid colored leaves and other foliage and stuff so yeah it was quite challenging to put together but um yeah i really love the image it's just really beautiful and um this puzzle also is like infused with like australian flora essential oil so it's like has a really nice scent so that was a really fun aspect of this puzzle um yeah so really glad to have this one in my collection and it's also really heavy. Uh, and then the other one that they gifted me was this 252-piece uh, one called Mum, There's a Cow in the Yard. And this was, one was almost opposite to that. It was quite simple and quick and fun to put together. Um, and yeah, the image is really bright and fun and yeah, and very comical. Um, so it basically features like this very flustered looking mum in a very rural rural or sort of farm land Australian sort of property and she's got all these kids running around causing mischief and there's a cow that's got into the yard and she looks like she's just had enough um, but yeah it was really fun to put together um, and this is actually their one of their fiberboard puzzles so it's a different type of wooden puzzle and it's a lot more lightweight actually um, so yeah that was a fun one to do as well and yeah also really glad to uh, have this one in the collection and then another wooden puzzle that I was gifted um, is this beautiful one called uh, Lady and the Dragon, 500 pieces from Studio 1760, which are also an Australian company based uh, in the same state that I am in, but, also, but in the beautiful scenic Byron Bay area. Um, and so this is by the artist Nirvana Selwood. Um, and so there's no image on the box, um, but I'll pop an image on the screen. Um, yeah, basically it's sort of a very kind of tattoo sort of style of this like woman um, smoking and this sort of uh, Eastern style dragon around her. And yeah, I really loved the colors in it. And um, also this one I did a review on, uh, you can see it on my Instagram account. Um, yeah, I really love the colors. They were like really vibrant and the whimsy pieces were just really cool and very unique. Like the whole puzzle is a very like more contemporary style. Um, and including the whimsies, which sort of matched uh, the artist style and sort of the image as well. So yeah, I really had a lot of fun with that one. Uh, really glad they sent it to me to try out. And yeah, they have some really interesting, yeah, more modern contemporary art style puzzles. So yeah, definitely check them out if you're interested. And then I, the next couple were actually thrifted. I got them from what we call the Salvos here or Salvation Army. And they have a lot of like, uh, charity store so um, I went into one near me and found these two puzzles um, so this one is actually a Mr. Bob one as well so that was a lucky find and it's sort of like a special one that they made for 
Um, so we have these, this chain of hardware stores here called Bunnings Warehouse. So it sells like tools, hardware, gardening, all that stuff. And so this is from 2020 and they actually like made them uh, for the company. So the company could give them as like, I think Christmas gifts to their employees for that year. So yeah, so this one's just 141 pieces. So just a small one. Um, and yeah, it has like an image. The image is sort of like a collage of different scenes from the, the store. And yeah, it actually had, I just did this one actually because I couldn't resist. Um, yeah, uh, it has cute little like hardware tool sort of uh, whimsy pieces as well, like hammers and spanners and watering cans and drills and things. So yeah, quite fun to put this one together. Um, so yeah, the glad, yeah, super glad that I stumbled across this one. And then the other one I thrifted is this pomegranate one. So this one's uh, 1,000 pieces by Charlie Harper. It's called Bird Copia. And it definitely looks like it's seen better days. The front is quite faded. So the actual, I think, true colors of the image are more from the back. But that being said, it looks like it's still in its shrink wrap. So uh, yeah, I think maybe it's just been sitting in someone's window or something because yeah, it looks like it's still sealed. So I'll have to open it up and check that it is still in its like original bag and stuff. But yeah, really, surprised to find this one as well um i quite like the artwork of charlie harper it's you know just really fun and i love the sort of geometric shapes um, and this one yeah is like a long puzzle as well so that's pretty cool um, so i think this one will be a lot of fun and yeah just really glad i could find a couple of puzzles in a thrift store i haven't had much luck before so yeah i was really pleased to find these two and then we have a few more here so we have another couple here um, from Tanya Wicks Photography. So I think in my last haul I showed three others that I got and well I couldn't resist completing the collection. So we've got this one here called Feathered Friends um, and yeah it's just beautiful uh, feathers all different like patterns and textures and yeah it just looks really beautiful and there's so much detail like all her puzzles um, just yeah just pick up so many like intricate details and you always get so much texture in all of her puzzles. So yeah, really like glad to add this one to the collection. And I think it'll be both tricky, but also enjoyable to do. So yeah, looking forward to doing this one soon. And then she actually ended up gifting me this beautiful one, which is called Sea Gems. Um, so also from the same collection. And yeah, it's just all these beautiful, like, oh, I really like this one, <laughs> seashells. And yeah, they're just really pretty, all different colors and again, different textures and patterns. And yeah, also again, so much like close up detail. So I think this one will be a really nice one to put together as well. And then we actually have three from a brand that's new to me, which is Lopez. Um, so I saw this brand floating around on Instagram and I just loved the, their images. So I think yeah, they're a US brand. So I did actually order these from uh, their website. I forgot to say the Tanya Wicks ones came from uh, her own website as well. So yeah, the Lepez, uh, sorry, Lepaz um, came from their own website in the US. Um, so I got this one, which is 500 pieces and it's called Lighten Up. Um, and these actually, the images are, remind me a little bit of like the piecework ones in that they all seem to be very kitsch and quirky have a bit of a sense of humor and all have this sort of retro like a bit 80s 70s vibe especially the packaging on this like this sort of yellow with the black chunky text feels very 70s to me um but yeah their puzzle boxes and puzzles are really cool like i like this one it's all just different quirky candles like someone's candle collection i'm gonna actually used to collect sort of candles like this as a kid so this one really spoke to me but yeah there's all sorts of like weird wacky candles there's a banana candle there's a can of oh no a bottle of beer candle um a carrot candle so all sorts of weird stuff but i really like the packaging as well um so it says missing pieces not included random cut puzzle um uh, what else does it say somewhere else it's like oh that's right on the sides it says like um a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle we actually counted 501 um yeah, and they have like all sorts of weird, funny little things written on it. And then on the back of their puzzle boxes, they have like more activities or games. So this one has like a crossword puzzle you can do. So yeah, it's like really like fun and has such a whimsical, quirky sense of humor. So 
yeah, I'm glad I grabbed these three to try out. So I'm actually thinking of maybe making a video on them and maybe doing one in the video. So let me know what you think of that. Um, so the other two I got from Le Paz, um, there's this one called uh, Teeny Tiny Things and it's 1000 pieces. Um, and it's just like this, I've seen this one on Instagram a lot. It seems very popular. Yeah, it's just this image of all these tiny little like objects. So like miniature items. So a lot of them are like little mini foods. Um, and then some things are like normal size, like a key and this coin and the pencil. But yeah, there's all these like funny little, yeah, miniature like odds and ends. So like, you know, a Barbie doll shoe and things like that. So quite quirky. Uh, looks like a lot of fun. Uh, so I can see why this one's been popular. And yeah, like the other one, this has uh, like 22 random facts about 22 tiny objects. So more silliness on the back. And then the last one I got from them is another one that kind of is very nostalgic for me. Uh, this one's called I Heart Stickers and it is just this full on collage. This is 1000 pieces as well. Full on collage of all these like very like 80s style stickers, some which I probably even had as a kid because I used to collect stickers as well. I seem to collect a lot of things. Um, but it's really colorful and fun and looks like it'll be pretty challenging to put together, but also like really fun. Um, yeah, so I think that that'll be a really cool one to do. And the back of this one, it says, uh, here's a selection of 108 stickers featured in this puzzle. Can you find them all? So you have to try and find all the ones listed on the front here. So yeah, it's just such a quirky, wacky brand, but it really appeals to me. So yeah, really looking forward to trying them out. So yeah, I guess let me know if you do want to see a video on these and maybe I can make that happen. Um, so that is uh, everything for this month's haul. There was definitely a lot of puzzles for this haul, um, but I think there were some pretty interesting and fun ones in the mix. And I'm glad I could you know, include some that were gifted and also thrifted. So in the comments below, let me know what you thought of this haul and were there any here that are in your collection or are there some that you've added to your wish list? If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore jibby where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.